All right, guys, so I'm on my way today. We're gonna go to some coin shops, some LCS's local coin shops, and we're gonna try to find some ammo. And I'm in the city of Springfield, Illinois. There's the governor's mansion. And ladies and gentlemen, I happened upon Highland Games going on right now. So let's get some shots here. Then we're gonna go find some silver. Then we're gonna go find maybe some ammo and I'll make a few videos out of it. So let's go. Stacker on a journey to find silver. International Stacker. How much does that bell weigh? 16. 16. Mrs. Is. is that you? Here she is, Mrs. Scottish IS. All right, guys, on to a LCS, or actually a pawn shop here in Illinois, Springfield. It's down there, it's called Monster Pawn. Let's see what kind of deals I can get. Woo! All right, guys, so I had to turn around, turn down the sound in here because they had music blasting, but look at these prices, 20 times, uh, 25 times face, uh, 35 per, I think those were, I forget, 10, uh, spot plus 10 for American Silver Eagles, spot plus 5 for the rounds. Guys, I've noticed in any local coin shop, LCS, uh, any pawn shop, that you can always find a deal. So I'm looking in here at these little different things of coins, and there wasn't much in there, guys. Not much at all. But I was looking for whatever deal I could possibly find. Um, to get an advantage. So I'm looking at different things. Here's the rounds, and I notice, huh, U.S. Assay Office from the Strategic National Stockpile of Silver. That's a possible good one. Those do carry a premium. I didn't want to pl uh, pay spot plus five, obviously, for it. So I just kept thinking, just kept looking. I was reading this thinking, huh, maybe this could be something rare, carry a premium on it. Uh, but just kept looking. You're always going to find a deal. There's always a... Okay. You're not always going to find a deal. There is always a deal to be had. You just got to find it. And that could be a rare coin. Uh, that could be um, something with premium that you know about. Maybe finding some poured silver uh, that you know you could get more for online, etc., etc. Look at this birthday coin. That's pretty cool. I was reading that. And I'm just looking in here for anything kind of off the wall or anything that I think could have, you know, resell or anything, anything that's flippable uh, to try to get an advantage. A lot of people coming and buy coins or not really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Every day. More buying or more selling? Buying. Way more buying. And the American Silver Eagles, I didn't want to pay spot plus 10. But I was thinking, you know what? Maybe there's a key date in here. Maybe there's something unique. So let me look around. So I did look around the American Silver Eagles for a couple of minutes trying to see if there's anything special in there. And there was, right there in front of me, a pile of normal American Silver Eagles. No specials, nothing. So I started going through this other coin, uh, coin box. It's just a bunch of... 90% constitutional yeah, silver, uh, he, nothing super yeah. special, uh, you know, I was looking, I'm like, okay, there's some mercuries, okay, shape, but I didn't want to pay the price for these, and he was charging 25 times face for these, 25 times face, so I'm looking at that Benji, I'm like, eh, alright, I'm cool on that, I said, let me see that other bucket, and that other bucket's 25 times face, but I noticed it's Barber. And I had a uh, video at a coin show not long ago where I paid maybe 25 times face for some barber I wanted, or 23 at the time. So I thought that was a good deal. And then I asked to see this uh, box here of foreign silver. And if you know, before the hashtag beer flu, um, or the pandemic we found ourselves thrust into, um, I was talking to you guys about getting silver at or below spot in local coin shops by buying this foreign silver. Oftentimes, it's all different percentages. They're just going to send it in and get it refined. It's going to be work. So oftentimes, you can make deals, great deals on it, which I did there. And look at that little piece of gold, plus 25. I was like, oh, I don't know. 
Um, so again, looking at these barbers. And I'm like, yeah, I like some of these. So I start to pick the barbers out, picking through them. And, you know, especially if I'm paying a little bit more, I'm going to get stuff that's in good shape. So I got the best shape barbers I could find. There's definitely some I didn't buy. And this comes into haggling here in a second. So I said to myself, I'm willing to pay 25 times face for these barbers. So that's going to give me an advantage when we go to haggle on everything else because... Me just saying, yeah, I'll pay what you want on these. It automatically like relaxes them, and they're like, all right, this guy's gonna pay what I want on that, and then that makes me have a little bit more wiggle room with the rest of the coins when we are haggling. I'll do like 122 on the lot. That's 25 face for this, paying what you asked. That's 30 for this. Okay, so that you gave me what I want. Out yeah. Of that, okay. That's this for 30. That's fair. And then that's ten dollars per four quarters. What'd you say total? 122. And that's eight for this and cool. five for this. Cool good. man. Good dude. Appreciate right. it. Let me get it back. Thanks, bro. What do you offer him on? He, I'm paying twenty-five for these, which is what he asked for it. Twenty-five times face. Thirty for that. Ten per stack of these Canadian quarters. Ten's too cheap for that. Eight for that. Ten's too cheap for that. What do you want to do on that? Uh, you need to be. Uh, what's your total amount on this? My total is one twenty-two for okay, everything. So what's your rebuttal to him? Because I, I didn't well, these, these, like, these, I guess we can do without any problems. But uh, I can get like, uh, like I can get fifteen bucks a run for these because they're going to be. All right, take your calculator. They're not fifty percent. They're point six of an ounce per dollar. So Mel is going to be probably up around 17.6 times what spot? 28 bucks. 28. Yeah. That's what they melt for. 16.80. That's what they for per, four per, per dollar. That's per dollar. So times three, you're at 50 right there. So I would, if I, I, I would do it, I would do it for. Uh, I'd probably do it for. Cost a little bit to refine it out, but I would probably say you know like. 48 bucks would be a good deal for him. Yeah, yeah cuz usually the foreign stuff you can get for cheaper cuz you have to refine too. it, you know. What yeah, but it? it only costs me 3% to refine it. Gotcha. What about, so what about? 3 3% on that is it's so actually going to get actually going to get 48. Offered 122 for everything. So what do you think we could do the total for? What how much is this part? This is 30. And plus. these are 25 face. 25 times face. Yeah. So you got 25, you got What's a dollar 80? Uh 25. 30. Is it is it 45? 45, yeah, 45, 45, 75, 75, so, 50, 125. So 125. So 125 for everything. Yeah. All right. Cool. Appreciate it. Thank you. That was, it was a 50 something there on the melt, right? Yeah. So hold on. So he was at 50 right there. Should be more now. Yeah, it's more than that. You got one, two, three. There's four, These are fifty percent. Yeah. This should be. This should be. Um, Here, that's eighty percent. That. So you got. So it was sixteen. Sixteen point eight times. One, two, three, four. These are fifty. But these are fifty percent oh. silver. They're at after oh, sixty-eight. These are 50%. And these are as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, just do it for 50 bucks. That's okay. So 125. Okay. Cool. Appreciate it. I called a guy from Las Vegas about them yesterday, and he said, like, those die, each one of those dies, you can get like 35 to 50 bucks for each single one. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Appreciate it. You have a good day. Well, all right, guys. Monster Pond in Springfield. They got coins, gold and silver, and you saw me go in there and haggle, and I got a decent job here in Springfield. Uh, I paid, I offered 122, and they took 125. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna break it down for you and show you how much I actually paid uh, for the different coins. I got a great deal, and you guys, in this day and age, you gotta find what the deals are, right? So the deals are not gonna be on American Silver Eagles. Um, 
and a lot of different types of silver. But in there, I got the US assay office round, which is great. It carries a nice premium. And it's super classic. I want to make a video about it, the history of it. I got barbers for 25 times face, which if you remember a year and a half or two years ago, I paid 25 face just for some I wanted. So that's actually a good deal nowadays with spot the place at, or the, at the place it is. And I got some Canadian for a great deal. So I'm gonna break it down, but first. And I'm about to go hit up another LCS or local coin shop. And it is not called Prairie Farms. It is called Gold Link. So hopefully it's open. Let's see what I can find. And disaster, guys. Gold Link is dead. Gold Link is dead. Do you think there's some AGEs or AFCs in there? Oh no. I was gonna be, I was gonna buy some coins. All right, guys. So I noticed some girls walking around looking for stuff. And someone lost their wedding ring during the caber toss so i went back and got my pin pointer i don't have my big metal detector because i sold it because i'm getting a new one otherwise it'd be way easier but let's see if we can find it with this pin pointer let's go Throwing, yeah. throwing, and as soon as he finished throwing, he looked down and it was gone. So where was he around about? Um, he said like he kind of when he was done throwing, he was right around here. So this is kind of like where when he was done throwing the caber, he was right here. And where did the caber land? Hit, way over here? This way. Well, the caber landed here. I think is where it landed. Oh, they left it. Okay. So I think that it went this way, or God, you know, left or right even. Yeah. He was slipping while he was throwing, and he just kept going. And I feel like off. if he throws it, it might have flung Fly forward. You know what I mean? So if he, they say hammer up, yeah, we're gonna be throwing stuff this way, so just look that direction. Okay, no worries. Cool. Thank you, sir. Yep. Uh, if only I had my large metal detector. All right, guys, they found it. Let me pick up my grid. She found it, I think, right? I think she found it. She did. Yeah, over here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I probably would have kept going that way, so I'm glad you found it over there. All right, guys, well, you heard it. The ring was found. I wish I had my large metal detector. I could have worked that area quick, but I was doing it with my pinpointer to help at the cause because it was a wedding ring and it was found. So that's awesome. Let's watch a couple cabers and let's get out of here. It's been a long day. I've been in like 95 degree heat all day long, and so have they, which sucks. I don't know if you guys, uh, dang it, maybe not Mrs. Is. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed it, but I was gridding and I was using Q-tips. I have some Q-tips I don't like. And so I was marking my grid with Q-tips because I had nothing else, but it was working. I did a pretty large area before it was found. All right, we're back. So let's take a little look at what we got. And... I'm really happy. Um, that's my first time in an LCS for a while. And I'll put the spot prices, um, I'm sh I already put the spot prices up, but maybe I'll show them again. So just to recap, <clears throat> I got one, two, three, four, five barber quarters, and I paid 25 times face? Yeah. And just to put that in perspective, before the last run up in silver, Barbers were still up around 25 times face. So, with the current spot price, that's actually a good deal. Same reason why I got these Barber Dimes. Look at that. 90% silver. It's a 1902, was it? 1905? So, you know, sometimes the labels are wrong, guys. 
can't always trust the labels. Uh, and then uh, 1911S. And then here's a Barber Half Dollar, 1902. So those, I paid more than spot, obviously, for those. But for Barbers, I thought that was a good deal. And you saw the deal I got on this one. I haven't edited the video yet, so I think I'm, I would have already told you guys the prices while I was shopping for them and what my mindset was. But um, I really love these coins, uh, U.S. Assay office and technically it's around but i really love these rounds and the story behind them so i'll do a video on on these but u.s assay office minted from u.s strategic stockpile silver 1981 that is so cool then i got myself a bunch of canadian quarters okay I got ourselves a nice little stack of that. Sorry guys, I had a disaster there. And we got ourselves some Canadian dimes. And that's another quarter, got mixed in. Trying to only keep US stuff there. And look at this 50 cent piece from Canada. So what do you guys think? Do you like my purchases? I'm gonna mix this barber in for my kind of little backdrop here. Mix these barbers in. So let me know below, and, and please, if you're not subscribed and you watch more than one of my videos or if this is your first one, please subscribe. It helps me a lot with YouTube, helps the videos um, to get out there to more people. That's how I take these out. I just punch it, punch it. But yeah, it really helps me get the videos out to more people, guys. And you know what helps me even more if you're already subscribed? Gently tapping the like button. Oh, man. This one. This one is in there. There we go. Jeez, freaking Louise. There we go. There we go. All right, guys. Well, let me know what you think. Now I got barbers mixed in the mix here. So, <laughs> end of another great video. This is my first LCS uh, shopping experience in a while, and it was a pawn shop. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, smash like, and I guess I'll say, catch you on the next one. Woo! One stack.